Welcome to Marco Polo Travel. Join me, Paul, as I make my way from Guadalajara, Mexico, down to Patagonia overlanding, virtually all by bus transportation. One man, 17 countries, 12 epic months on the road. All right, it is 7.45 a.m.? Eight. 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 Sun is up. We are about to make our way up to the Pyramide de Teposlan, uh, a pyramid that was built uh, by one of the ancient civilizations, the Nual of, uh, of Mexico, one of the ancient civilizations, who praised the uh, ancient serpent god. Isn't that right? Yeah. And it was a serpent god to what type of alcohol? Pulque. 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 Which is made from the same plant that tequila and mezcal is made from. It's very nice. Kind of got a creamy milky texture, so if you're not into that, I wouldn't try it, but definitely worth a shot. To start the hike, go from the main central area up the main avenue. You can't miss it. And then you start heading up the trail. And since it is an hour and a half up, make sure you plan ahead and get a sandwich. Like my boy JJ here. Would you get some ham on? Oh, yeah, man. Unfortunately, we had the same idea as you. Why not go and hit it at sunrise? But the pyramid actually does not open until 9 a.m. Hence why we're leaving at 8. It takes approximately an hour, hour and a half to get up there, depending on your skill level. And once you get up there, the views are just incredible. Um, I'm very excited to see them. And I think that during this time of the day, right when the sun has just risen, it will be beautiful as well. As we made our relaxing ascension, hey, what are you doing? Slow down, stop making us look bad. JJ, why did I have those extra churros yesterday? <laughs> From this viewpoint, you reach the gate up into the entrance of the pyramid. From the city center, I mean, we're in pretty good shape. We got up here in like 15, 20 minutes. Here's the entrance to the pyramid where you gotta pay 55 pesos. What do they say they uh, open at nine? What time did you do? Plan accordingly. There she is. Pyramid. Pyramid. It has a field to be number two if you get up here. Second place. You know what they say, if you're not first, you're last. Para uno. Muchísimas gracias. Let us please give honor to the Serpent God of Pulque. Serpent God. I must say I am a bit parched. Pulque would be nice. <laughs> Always a marvel to see old structures like this that are built up on hills. I mean, these people that they, what they had to go through to get these structures built is incredibly amazing and courageous. And as I have seen, it is customary in Mexican culture to have tons of little snacks and tchotchkes at the bottom for you to buy afterwards. All right, so we just finished the hike. Uh, definitely not that sweaty, feel pretty good. Way up was definitely somewhat strenuous. What do you think, like intermediate level? Definitely, you know, if you're older, I would definitely think twice about doing it. As long as you take your time. Yeah. Nice and slow, you can make it. Yeah, nice and slow, you can make it. Uh, for us on the way up, it was only about a half hour. Very easy. Um, well, again, somewhat intermediate, but didn't take a lot of time. When we got up there, it said it was going to open at 9. We ended up having to wait until about 9.30 to get in. So, you know, think about that if you're trying to do the sunrise. I would not do the sunrise, as if you do go at sunrise, uh, you will not get to see much. Um, it's only a little window uh, of viewpoint. Um, I think as a solo traveler, if you're going to do a solo, you'd be fine, right? Quite a few people that are uh, meandering up the path. So definitely recommend it. Definitely a cool thing to do if you're in uh, Teoplas, uh, Te Teoposlan. Um, Teposlan. Teposlan. <laughs> I'm correcting you now. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah the, the views up there were incredible. We definitely uh, recommend it. Uh, 
you could do it in less than, I'd say, two hours round trip.